Good evening, everybody. Good evening. We're glad you're here tonight at Memorial United Methodist Church for our Ash Wednesday service as we begin to observe what I like to call a Holy Lenten season. Uh, this is the service where we enter into that season together. And a couple of things just before we get going tonight in front of you or on your way in, uh, you may have been handed a white attendance card. Um, you could go ahead and fill that out at any time tonight. That would be great if you're digital savvy. You can get on your smartphone, go to mumconline.com slash here, and you can fill out the same information in there. And uh, there is no offering tonight, so that's our normal vehicle for receiving those cards. So, Karen, I'm going to suggest that on their way out, people give those to you um, on their way out tonight, okay? Also, this uh, does begin a Lenten season during which we have a lot of options for you to engage in the Lenten journey here at Memorial United Methodist Church. You can find out about all of those by, again, going along to our website, mumconline.com forward slash Lent. One of the highlights of those is that every Wednesday evening through Lent, we will be gathering on Facebook Live and we will be guided through a book study uh, by Pastor Carrie, Pastor Alice and myself. And, uh, and that book is called Seven Words. It focuses in on the last words of Christ. Um, and it is going to be a great study together. If you want a copy of that book, uh, you can either email or contact the office, or you can drop into the Parton Center anytime through the week, and they're available right there. The other thing I want to say to you tonight is, after our service, beginning at 7.15 on the steps of our church, we will host in partnership with St. Peter's, First Presbyterian, and Trinity United Methodist we will host a vigil of praying prayer for peace in Ukraine. And um, many of us continue to be deeply disturbed by what we have seen on our news channels and screens. And this is just a way that we can gather and be with one another and lift up the needs of the world around us prayerfully. And so I do invite you, even if we're finished our service early tonight, hang around and gather. And I do believe that we will have quite a presence from our community here on our steps this evening. So we invite you very much to be a part of that. Let's just still our hearts now as we prepare to observe this service tonight and have a couple of moments of silence. If you have sinned, do not lose hope because of your error. Pray instead. On the other hand, if you have done something good, never presume too much on account of your goodness. Never congratulate yourself excessively. Never look down on someone else for sinning. And remember, that when the wayward soul prays and repents of doing wrong, the Lord will raise that person up, just as he did Lazarus. I want Jesus to walk with me. The service tonight is filled with many prayers, and there are words that we have written, but they're for your heart. So let us go to God with open hearts and open minds in prayer together. Purifying mystery, 
Your light exposes in us all that we hide. Awaken us in all your holy church to spiritual combat. Lead us to purify purity of soul and body in these 40 days. Fortify us to take an honest look at ourselves and to name our sins and our ruts of disobedience. Let abstinence from our addictions free us for prayer and for love. Perfect us by steady gaze towards your pure mercy and grace, so that we may come to Easter in pure joy. In confidence, O oh God, we commend ourselves and all our passions and our cares to your never-failing mercy. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, it's been so long since I had to look at the camera that I forgot to wel welcome our digital worshipers who are joining us on Facebook tonight. I do want to say if you're joining us in that medium or through that medium, you are very welcome with us. I'm going to lead us through a litany right now, and the words of response will come up on your screens, and I invite you to join in in the bold type. The word of the Lord. That came to Joel. Hear this. Put on sackcloth, Mourn and cry. wear it all night, for we are neglecting God. Declare a holy fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the community, and cry out to God. Make haste, O God, and deliver me. O Lord, make, make haste to help me. We're going to stand together and sing now in the hymnals number 269. Lord, who throughout these 40 days, the words will also be on our screens. <laughs> before you. We confess that we have fallen short of your glory and your intent for our lives. Open our eyes that we may see ourselves with clarity and truthfulness, that we may have eyes to see all of that within us that is not pleasing to you. Let us pray in silence.
Lord, we confess to you that we have not loved as we ought. We have been impatient with others with whom we could have been patient. We have disregarded those you have called us to serve. We have chosen the selfish way when you have called us to selflessness. Please pray in silence. tended to the care of our souls. We have been too busy to pray. We have been too quick to speak and too slow to listen for you. We have filled our lives with all kinds of noise instead of patiently waiting like sheep for our shepherd's voice. Please pray. We need your guidance. We cannot see beyond the moment. We cannot worship as we ought. As we begin this solemn journey toward the cross, we call upon your mercy and your love for our salvation. Please pray once again. <clears throat> Psalm 51, verses 1 through 17. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you and you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. 
Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. This Lenten season is a season of returning to God. It's a season of reflection and introspection. It's a season of opening up our ears so that we might hear God's words spoken into our lives. This beginning of the Lenten journey on Ash Wednesday is about remembering our own mortality, remembering that we are sinners. All of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory, of course. But also we do this remembrance in the light of the whole story that we know, that we are beloved of God also. But that still calls us to this season of turning, of journeying with Christ towards the cross of Good Friday, of doing the work of this journey of discipleship. And that's what we start here tonight. On Ash Wednesday, it's traditional for us to mark ourselves with ashes, to be reminded that it is from dust that we came and to dust that we shall return. And so that is what we do as we begin this holy season of Lent together. We remember our own mortality. We remember that we are sinners, but we also remember as we are marked that we are beloved of God. And that's how we proceed through this season of Lent. In just a second, Pastor Alice, Pastor Carrie, and myself are going to come down the steps and we're going to invite you to come forward and have ashes placed on your head. And the three of us will stand right in the middle and we invite you to come forward by way of the center aisle and take your pick from all three of us. Um, and then whenever you have been marked with ashes, if you will return to your seat by way of the side aisles. And we're going to serve our congregation first, upstairs, downstairs, and then our choir will come down right after everyone else has, uh, has had ashes placed on them. Okay. And for the second time, I forgot our digital community. <laughs> Can you guys please forgive me at home? If you are at home and if you are prepared with ashes, thank you for doing that. If you are not prepared with ashes, we're going to invite you just to an action in these next few moments of remembering that it is from dust you came and to dust you shall return. And so the way that we're going to invite you to do that at home tonight is just by making the mark of the cross on your head and your body as we would do many of us on Sunday mornings. And so I'm going to invite you to remember that it is from dust you came and to dust you shall return. From dust you came and to dust you shall return. May the Lord bless you and keep you at home.
Our next reading is from Psalm 103, and we will do a responsive, a song response from the Teze tradition, followed with words of the psalm that we will say, I will say, and you will say. Let us begin. within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy? Who satisfies you with good as long as you live? vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our for as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are the They flourish like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it and it is gone, and its place knows it knows no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on all those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his voices together singing When I Survey the Wondrous Cross, number 298. <clears throat>
We remain standing, friends, as we toll the bell 40 times to mark the 40 days of Lent, after which I will pronounce a benediction to close our service. As our service comes to a close tonight, we are going to invite you to depart the service in silence after the benediction has been pronounced. I do invite you to hang around, take a walk downtown and come back for a 7.15 start for our vigil, uh, which will begin then and we'll be joined by our friends from uh, three other churches downtown and some friends from our community. Uh, so people of Memorial, uh, as we are hosting the event, I don't need to teach you how to be hospitable, but if we could not crowd our steps so that there is space for all guests who come here tonight to crowd the steps ultimately, uh, that would be great. Um, so please just make space for, for those who come and join us from other uh, traditions and from our community as well here. Let's pronounce a benediction. Beloved children of God, go in peace tonight. As those who have been marked as a remembrance of their own mortality. Go in peace tonight as those who know their own brokenness. Go in peace tonight as beloved children of God. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.